Bridget Bennett, NYT file, people placed bets on sports at the MGM Grand Race. In a boost for the prospect of commercial sports gambling across the nation, the Supreme Court on May 14, 2018, struck down a federal law that effectively banned such gambling in most states. The case concerned New Jersey, but it has implications for other states eager to allow and tax sports gambling. Americans are estimated to annually place $150 billion in illegal wagers on sports. Bridget Bennett, The New York Times, Quick Quiz, If legalized sports gambling and pro sports simply shouldn't mix, 1. Why does Las Vegas already have an NHL playoff team, 2. Why will it have an NFL team in 2023? Why is it on the short list of the NBA and MLB? Basically, if it plays in Vegas, it's a little hypocritical say it doesn't work for the rest of us, isn't it? The Supreme Court's groundbreaking ruling Monday cleared the way for all states to legalize sports betting, and not just Nevada. Consumers can expect plenty of fallout, and not just because it'll be easier to place a bet. Point spreads, typical fodder in print, will become common topics on broadcasts. Graphics will follow suit. All of a sudden, you'll be inundated with the possibilities. From the sports industry side, it'll become far more complicated. Already the leagues are lining up, lobbying for a piece of the action. They say they'll need it to pay for the technology necessary to preserve their competitive integrity. And they want it because they say they deserve it. The unions, too. By the time everyone gets a cup no one will be too worried about cautionary tales like the Black Sox scandal or CCNY point shaving. Times have changed. Monitoring sports betting is practically a science already, and you can bet it'll become more stringent. Unless someone proves otherwise, there's no reason to think any sports integrity is at greater risk than it already is. Not that the Supreme's decision will affect my lifestyle. Bet on games? Bad enough that my picks are up for public inspection. I'm not about to risk my income, too. Twitter, at Sharon Dinkman.